crash. So actually, did still have that after all? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Well, I'm gonna say, this can be part two, you can't. So, the real estate agent and the case manager, I mean, reporting to me to the last and all that. In a period of like a couple of weeks, because I got discharged off any or any injections and it made a big improvement being off the injections. Fuck's sake, no, this oh, is it's gonna stop again because I turn around and slow. Um, oh man, so there's a lot of information. You, um, the, so they reported to me, they'll try me, they hadn't cleaned. I've talked about it in another video, but just for being the grime on that indicates that because, like, oh, I can't even use the words, you know, describe my sexual preferences at the time, and, and to put this real estate agent said so to pull that out of the ceiling and clean it and it's all like that since I've been here it's rusty or something, it looks even worse <coughs> in this light but it's not possible and to pull it out of the ceiling to go ahead pull it out of the ceiling and clean it please so I told my case manager and all that got reported to me to try to put me in psych ward for six months now, I'm not sure if that was his mission my, no 2013 mission, it's a fucking long mission um, Damn, is this still going on? It's fucking, pardon the language, it's annoying when it happens. Um, yeah, it's caused me in 2013. Oh, because uh, it's an interesting story, be because um, I was doing the extraterrestrial exploration, I'd already been landed the guys, and I was still doing it while I was in psych ward for some reason. Like, um, yeah, it's still going on. I mean, they landed guys and beyond that, there's Dragon Eye. I think that's before Dragon Eye. Like his kind of pupils kind of did this shit with me and um, and then I went through his pupil. So that should be a limit for any other ones. Yeah, it's quite a while. And I mean, it depends. No, and, uh, uh, yeah. So, um, where was, was, where, where is this going? Um, yeah. Fucking, you know, to explain to you fucking how many missions we're trying to explain at once. The closet is more important because that's what I was talking about last time and got distracted. And then the guard that, beyond the guards and then beyond the, through the dragon line, and then there's kind of like sur surrounded by, like, it's mainly red and kind of yellow, stringy, like, they're just fucking shapes everywhere and they're kind of sh transforming and almost looking human and doing all sorts of weird shit. And anyway, um, then when I was in psych ward, I, I started shooting off beyond there. I didn't know where I was going. Couldn't see it. Jack couldn't see any shit. Couldn't visible. But I ended up getting somewhere. I kind of hard, wasn't even really aware of it. This guy called Roger came down. Um, you know, I, I said, what's your name? And so I wouldn't mind you sticking around because he did something to my consciousness. And, and I was explaining why I ended up being put on clozapine. Because I was basically saying the medication to Jack shit and feel he's better. And that was the indication that I was still so, uh, well, they, they could easily say that they got evidence that I was psychotic based on that. What the psychotic means? Um, I'm not sure, I'm not too sure exactly what it means. No one really knows. Don't pretend you did, did know. And, yeah. Well, wow. um, so. So you know, I was going to feel better and consciousness kind of expanded and you know, for some reason we went out here. But I still feel absolutely terrible when I'm drunk. But, but that's the that same. Medi medication, you know, you know, you're about. Spewing on the fucking oral, saying last time, spewing on the oral liquid how a parrot or tastes like absolute shit. It, um, there, I won't give you the, all the details, but they, they said I was inducing vomiting to get uh, through the oral liquids because I was spewing it up all the time. I still spew. I still spew all like this really weird shit. Like it's really oh, I don't want to discuss it. With it. I don't have any bile. But, I, don't know. I don't know what that is. Concerned it's going to switch off. Um, but, um, it's closet paint. Let's go back to the closet paint. Fuck it. Sorry about that. Try doing this with a sock. I just tell you to tell me of some pseudo science. So um. Say, let's agree to disagree with you. That's just your opinion. Oh, anyway, that's just your opinion. You're telling him about all the details and everything. And it's like, that's just your opinion. So, like, what the fuck was I even saying? It's the reason to crack the shits and get um, 
say that, that you're acting threatening towards clinicians. No, you don't want to be guilty of that. My God, that, that's one of the worst crimes on the planet, you see. Um, well, it was, yeah. Uh, well, so what, um, the reason for you to be there and just kind of gradually turn into a fucking monster or some shit exponentially, and, um, maybe work out. Damn, I just got my chill. I'll just be more serious. Um, so, close me. Extraterrestrial. Uh, did resonate something with my consciousness to get me up to the program. Um, close me. We're sure I want. Yeah, is it still going? Yeah, sure. Uh, close me. We'll go over here. Too. That's where I was when I spent last time there. But I'm uh, sure. Wait, wait, wait. 12 mil 25 milligrams. Close pain. Fucking names of the fucking drugs, even. Um, and the treatment resistant, they, they really fancy promoting treatment resistant shit. They can kill you and shit. It's really dangerous. And they put me on like 12 and 5 million. They might put me on like getting like 180 blood um, pressure readings, 180 or something, 90, I don't know, 100, 190. Um, you know, sometimes they didn't even tell me what the blood pressure was, but I was getting them at 170s and 180s and that. It's going all over the place, but really. the heart rate was pretty hot, pretty high. I used to have like 50 heart rate, and they wanted me to see a doctor because my heart rate was like 40, 50 and shit in 2012, just before that, when I was complaining of chest pains, and they did a chest reading because Zeldox can cause, or goat on one, can cause problems with the heart attack and shit. Um, yeah, and they were concerned it was too slow. So it's kind of like, it used to be pretty fit. So I ended up with like 190 beats per minute heart rate and shit. Um, so that's probably apparently better. Apparently it was much better to have 190 blood pressure and just, yeah, because I was doing, it was, was alright before. They, they try and make it alright in fucking disease when you're just normal. But it's a close man, you still want to do a 25 milligrams bad blood result. Like three different things, like white, white blood cells, a couple of other things. A couple of other things were way out, and so they took me off. And the plan was um, to keep testing my blood readings until it went back to normal. And then I got to put me back on it, so it was about, it took it, I mean, I was in a cycle for four days or something. There. Blood results are normal now, so we're going to put you back on closed So I called the cops, the triple zero emergency, and said, they're gonna put me on blah blah blah, they put me on this drug, go out and they say go and get a nurse. We should have just said he's being diagnosed with a mentally wuggy and um and <laughs> yeah anyway, but he didn't have okay, a nurse nurse completely ignore me doing some shit, it's more important shit to do like reading someone's blood pressure and I was acting like I should be in a psych ward because I was asking him like yeah you know, there's someone with a phone call. Phone call for the new nurse. You're the first nurse I could find, and I was saying in the last year that the last mission after August 2015, he noticed I was a lot better because I was spewing and I didn't know where the nurses wanted to check my spew. I reported and said, hey mate, I just had a spew, maybe a third one today, this is pretty typical, and um, just little bits of crap. And, um, and, and, and so anyway, he went on some fucking high and mighty fucking crap, pardon my language, and said, you, you know the system as well as I do. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about, mate? And, and so I'm just telling you how to spew, do you want to check it out? What, what the fuck? Is he in the pop land? Blah, blah, blah. And he's fucking been a hero. And, and he tries to get me to take, he said, you know the system, you know how it all works. You, um, you're reporting to me that you're, you're, that you're, well, he's, you know, like nausea. Um, and to take fucking any nausea medication. That's, that's, that's fucking ridiculous, man. At the time, I was pretty switched on. They made a fucking big mess of me at the admission. Um, and... Yeah, this is it. Yeah, but... So, well... Is this still going? Yeah, yeah, this is it.